The final race of day one will be the second juvenile hurdle of the week. And at the top we've got Devon Dumpling for Derek Hinton. The Dark Order, Matt Cooper, Triple Spark, David Robertson, Corson's Pride, Martin Lidham, Good Time Girl, Graham Clutterbuck, and Royal Paul and Craig Beckwith, a field of six. Oh, this one. Calling and away, the rain coming down. And we've had two four-yard hurdles today. We've had two mares hurdles as well, sir. Chance for those type of horses, and the dark order is the first one to show. And it's quickly gone two to three clear. Let's have the first flight of hurdles with a clear lead. The rest of them are pretty tightly packed. And the dark order is bowling along in front, heading down to flight two. Where did they go from Devon Dumplin in second, and then Treble Spark is third, Royal Pawn is fourth. Course since Pride was second in the juvenile hurdle last week with Good Time Girl just the back marker. It's the Dark Order. Who's in the lead as they get over number three? I feel quite well strong out now. With the Dark Order showing the way by three lengths to Derek Hinton's Devon Dumplin in second and then Treble Spark third. Course since Pride is fourth and then Good Time Girl and finally. Royal Paw at the back. This is flight four. I don't know that one nicely as well. This one's the fifth, midway point in the jumping. Again, ten flights of hurdles in this. Normally only eight in a two mile up. But a lot of hurdles to take in this one as well. And the dark order will come past the Warning post with a clear lead of about four lengths to Devon Dumplin in second, Treble Spark is in third, then Royal Paul is fourth, Corson's Pride is fifth, and Good Time Girl is just the back marker at this point as they head out into the final mile of this Paddy Power Juvenile Hurdle, and the Dark Order is five lengths clear of Devon Dumplin and Treble Spark. And Royal Paul on the outside of Corson's Pride, who's on the outside of Good Time Girl. They're really tightly packed, with the exception of this leader who's got a three-length advantage at the at the moment. And Matt Cooper's The Dark Order is three lengths clear coming into flight six. It's over it nicely. Really good jump on the outside by Royal Paul. I've seen that one taking a share off second. The two of them starting to manoeuvre themselves into position to challenge over the fourth from home they go. And suddenly the Dark Order is amongst the rest of them. With Corson's Pride and Royal Pawn and then Devon Dumplin, Treble Spark on the inside is going to need a split. Good Time Girl is going to try and come round the outside of all of them as they swing towards the third last. And over the third last, Corson's Pride just landed in front from the Dark Order in second. Devon Dumplin is third, then Good Time Girl, Royal Pawn. And Treble Spark, you wouldn't like to put him underneath it at the moment. Corson's Pride is the first one to kick for home with two and a half furlongs to go. And two flights to take. Corson's Pride has gone a length or so clear from Good Time Girl and Devon Dumplin. Over the second last, Corson's Pride landed in front from Good Time Girl in second. Devon Dumplin is in third. These three are pulling away. They've got one more flight to take. Corson's Pride on the inside takes it in lead. A better jump there by Devon Dumplin. It's Corson's Pride and Devon Dumplin. Corson's Pride on this near side. Devil Dumplin on the outside. And Devil's Dumplin is going to take it. I think Devon Dumplin is in front. Corson's Pride is trying to fight back. It's Devon Dumplin who's got a hold on and take it. Devon Dumplin wins it. Corson Pride second. Good time girl third. Treble Spark next. And all the way back to long time leader. The Dark Order and Derek Hinton whose day started with disaster, catastrophe and sadness with the death of his horse in the first race has won the final race of the day. So Devon Dumplin for Derek Hinton and nobody will be grudging after what happened in the first race. Corson's Pride second for Martin Lidham. Good Time Girl for Derek uh, Graham Clutterbuck was third. Treble Spark for David Robertson was fourth. And Royal Pawn for Craig Beckwith was fifth.